Welcome everyone to another video. This is not a typical how to solve a paper video, but rather something that is definitely important in helping you all solve these same papers you and I are both dealing with. If you are seeking to get full marks, you first have to answer the question. And in order to answer, you have to, most importantly, understand the question. So in today's video, I will be covering how to answer any given question by going through the command words and if such command words do pop up in your exam paper, you have nothing to worry about. Also, if you are new to this channel, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and now let's watch and learn. Command words. Command words and their meanings help candidates know what is expected from them in the exam. The table below includes command words used in the assessment for this syllabus. The use of the command word will relate to the subject context. The first command word being assess. In this case, you are expected to make an informed judgment about the strengths and weaknesses of an argument, claim or topic. Typically must consider all the views before answering. If you look at the next command word, calculate. This is pretty common. It is also a go-to command word in our maths classes. No explanation is required for this one. It is just working out an answer using figures and numbers. Comment. Since the command word itself says it, why don't you all go comment right now in the comment section below. I would gladly respond as soon as possible. And as for the meaning, it is just giving an informed opinion or stating views as well as opinions on the topic clearly. The next command word is compare. As soon as I see this command word, it makes me think about sort of a tipping scale where you identify the similarities and or differences. Next we have define. It is about giving the definition of what is there in your textbooks of certain keywords and the words they ask you to define in papers are already defined in your textbooks. So it is pretty easy. And these are generally like for one or two marks. For the next command word we have describe. This is another common one that is definitely there in every paper I have seen. It is writing about a certain topic in detail using figures if given in the form of a graph or any other numerical values. Next we have discuss. It is writing about topics or issues in a structured manner. The next command word is explain. Over here, just stating the points is not enough in such questions. Always think of the word why when you write a point. Why is it like this? It uses reasoning to make the point more clear and highlighted while using evidence too. The next one is give. Usually, it goes like this. Give an example of this process and so on. It is producing an answer from a given source, which in your case would be the textbook or recalling it, having stumbled upon it in a past paper you have recently solved. Next we have identify. It is concerned with naming or selecting as well as recognizing something in that question. They could have shown a diagram of blood vessels marked with the letter X and ask you to identify vessel X. Thus it is again concerned with naming or selecting or recognizing a particular structure. Outline. Over here it is where you set out the main points. Example, outline the process transcription. Next, we have the command word predict. You have to give your own prediction based on what the trend is like. If it is a graph that is given. That is, suggestions that are based on available information. The next command word we have is sketch. This is usually in practical papers, like in paper 3, where you would have to do a simple drawing in pencil showing the key features. Next, we have state. Over here, you have to give the relevant points briefly. There is no need of explanation or lengthy answers. And at last we have suggest. Just give possible reasons why so and so occurred. Apply knowledge and understanding to situations where there are various kinds of answers. Usually such questions do accept any valid point if you go to the marking schemes of past papers. They would have the word AVP which means any valid point in such questions. And that is the end of this very important session based on command words. If you found this video useful, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as well as subscribe if you haven't already. If you do know anyone who would benefit from such video, do share it with them. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more.